Cloud CRM is a customer relationship management tool that was introduced over a year ago. We have continued to improve upon it and receive feedback from merchants and implement the features and functions that merchants have asked for. And I just kind of want to summarize quickly the new set of features that this app is now capable of. So first, we can show you a lot more customers than you know, customer app can on a native Clover device. This thing will go forever, whereas uh, I believe that the customer app will have a limit of how many customers it can show. We also have customer types, right? So you can edit and manage those. We have an ability to completely control the customer field. Um, so when you edit the profile, customer object, I mean, right? So you get into the profile of the customer and then you can edit page and then here you have all the fields um, and you can control the position of these fields by just simply moving like so the fields around right you can make them required or optional you can turn them off uh, and then you obviously can add more fields fields can be of any kind uh, well, of this kind, text, numeric, date, yes, no, drop down, image, and radio selection, right? It can be uh, added anywhere in the form, and so that you can achieve a total customization of a customer form, and you can do this to each customer object. Um, all right, so now we have to put some information in these fields that are required. Dog's name. Uh, why not? Uh, so there we go. So once you change the customer type, let's say now you go into customer type school and you create a customer and well, hold on, let's not add it. Let's choose a customer type school, right? Uh, you can edit this form and customize this form to whatever you'd like and you can see that the images here are, are not here and right and you can mo modify this form as you'd like and it will be custom to that customer type so plenty of functionality in terms of way that you can control the customer object and it is completely integrated with the customer app on clover so very quickly we also have a way obviously to display avatars as you can see um, Right, so this is the avatar. If you want to change it, uh, you hit here, and this camera initiates on a station or on any other Clover device, and you can take a picture. Same thing with the picture fields inside the form. And now I want to quickly talk about workflow. So we have a thing called workflow management, and there are now two workflows in here. One is require customers select on checkout. Self-explanatory, this is a way to require customer assignment every time during your transactions. And there's even a way to make it so that your customers can't avoid. Uh, so you can uncheck this, allow, cancel, customer select. And then this way your, your sales clerks can never avoid having to assign the customer. And the next thing we have is manage sales tax based on geolocation. Given the new reality, we feel that there's going to be a lot more activity online to which then you'd have to drop ship your merchandise and sell it to uh, and send it to your customers. And because of this, we've integrated Cloud CRM with Geotax Changer at no additional cost. So on this integration, I already have it. Let me just go ahead and turn on. And so see, there it is. We, we, we ship to customers, customer location, trigger sales tax. And, you know, it tells you that you can have this app for free if you have Cloud CRM. Now... Let me go ahead and go back. So we have this turned on, everything is edited. And so I'm gonna go ahead and hit register. And this is already an existing transaction out of which we're going to exit. And I'm gonna hit register again. And there it is. So it's requiring me to assign the customer and I can't avoid that screen. I have to require uh, assign the customer. And as soon as I did assign the customer, it tells me this is your customer location and the last time you have utilized this sales tax rate with this particular customer on that location. You can go ahead and save it and then it'll change the sales tax rate to that percentage for that transaction or you can cancel. So let's go ahead and save. So there it is. It now changes the sales tax and we can go on with the transaction. And the sales tax now is charged at that percentage. 
So that's um, Cloud CRM in a nutshell in five minutes. There you go.